Okay, let's take a look a little bit at the uh, metered control system and cover the regeneration setting procedure here. It's quite similar to the one we just talked about. We press in on the red pinion gear and we rotate the 24-hour gear left or right until the current time of day is in the bottom center window. Now when we go over to the right side of the 24-hour gear, things are a little bit different here because we have a program wheel and there's one of two ways we can program a meter control. The first way we can program, which would be typical of a residential application, we would dial the hardness of the water that we tested in step two of the BTTB formula and set it up opposite the number of people in the family. And we would do that by simply holding the base gear, which I'm doing with my right index finger, and then pulling out on the dial and turning the dial left or right, lining up the hardness, which is on the inside label, with the number of people, which is represented on the outside label, numbers one through seven. Now, when we have 24 grain hard water and let's say four people in the family, we would dial 24 opposite the four people and then index the program wheel all the way counterclockwise until it stops and then simply manually rotate the main dial in the front 360 degrees. And that arms the program wheel so that it's at the beginning the proper beginning spot for that combination of hardness and family size. Now the second way we can program a meter control is a method that would be commonly used in commercial and industrial applications and that's where we program in terms of gallons between regeneration. Now obviously with no family size to make reference to that would seem like the natural thing on most industrial commercial applications. So just picture this program wheel without a people label or the outside dial or the hardness label, which we used to orientate with in the first example. Now what we would do is calculate how many gallons of capacity the unit is going to give us with the salt setting that we have. For example, let's say we had a cubic foot unit, 24 grain hard water, that, and, and let's say we were brining it at 8 pounds of salt. Well, that would yield 24,000 grains of capacity or 1,000 gallons. Now, if the business that we had the unit installed in, for instance, was a restaurant and they used an average of maybe 300 gallons per day, we would subtract 300 gallons from the available 1,000 gallon capacity and call that reserve. And then take the 700 gallons remaining or the usable supply and we would simply, again holding the base gear, pull out on the program wheel and line up the number 700 in the gallon label, which is the outer label, opposite the white dot on our wheel, and that would tell us that we're now programmed for 700 gallons between regeneration. But as in the case of the first example, we always have to orientate the program wheel to the current time of day. So we would turn the wheel all the way to the stop point counterclockwise, and then manually index the main gear, bring it back to the service position, and the program wheel would be ready to go. Okay, uh, let's say we wanted a manual regeneration because we were expecting company in the case of a residential application, or let's say in the case of that commercial application we just covered, we had an extra busy day at the restaurant. In order to get the manual regeneration, we would simply turn the manual knob approximately two clicks, and we should be able to read the word or the abbreviation regen in the cycle position window and at that point we can walk away from it and the unit will regenerate automatically. The timer motor will engage the gearing and it will bring our main gear all the way around and the unit would regenerate at whatever time of day we might initiate it.